guys, your girl Keandra, and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be how I do a very easy braid pattern for some crochet box braids that I'm going to be installing. Um, I wanted it to have the individual box braid look without actually having individual box braids because the box braids were um, the goddess ones and they were already pre-braided so I didn't want to have to unravel them and then braid them into my hair but I still wanted that natural looking look so right now I'm just showing you how I am parting my hair and I'm using shining jam just to kind of keep it in place and what I'm actually going to do is do little boxes um, around my sides and the front of my hair and then I'm going to cornrow the middle of my head now you can always do these boxes um, throughout your whole head and you can also do them at the back of your head if you wanted to wear your hair up that was the original plan but I was so tired that morning like I just really did it feel like doing that so i just did it around my sides and in the front of my head and then i cornrowed the rest um i did use a rubber band method um not that you have to but i just know my hair in the front is kind of short especially around my edges so i just did it for extra security and then i took my hair and then i braided it um you don't have to braid it all the way down but you can if you would like and then i attached it to the box um, right behind it so I'm gonna stop talking and just let you guys watch and yeah I'll come back if need be completed the whole front of my head so now I'm going to start the actual cornrows in the back so what I decided to do was to do a cornrow per two rows if that makes sense now that I have actually finished the install um, even though it looks fine which you guys will see um, in a later video um, one thing I probably would have changed is probably doing smaller braids so maybe a cornrow per row but um, I was trying to make it to where I could um, have a part no matter like like throughout my whole like it's kind of hard to explain you know like whenever you do crochet and you have a part and you connect the two braids that's what i was trying to do and so as you saw in the beginning i crossed them over that way if i want to have my part right there i could and it would look seamless but um later on which you'll see i just the braids are just really really big <laughs> and they could have been smaller so um, you can do it my way because my braids still come came out fine, but that's just something that kind of bothered me. But yeah, so I'm just going to say it again or show you again. 
Um, basically, I'm just going to part the hair for the cornrow. I'm going to move that extra hair to the side. I'm going to cross those two rows and then just start braiding. Now, I'm not um, good at braiding, as you guys can clearly see. I can just do enough to get by. Um, my hairstyle still came out okay. So... I'm just gonna, you know, keep doing it, and I know with practice I will get better. Um, this whole hairstyle took me like an not hairstyle, but this braid down only took me like an hour. It was super quick. I was watching like people's vlogmas and stuff, so I think it took me like literally like two vlogmases. Um, also make sure you braid tight. Like I already know it's a lot of tension. On your hair especially for tender edit but as you can see like my natural hair was kind of poofing up so yeah just make sure you braid tight and your foundation should be fine um this is the last braid so once i get to the end i'm just going um oh every time i braid it down i connected um the braid prior to the next braid so I end up with one braid at the end. Hopefully it's not confusing. I'm such a visual person. So hopefully if you see it, you understand what I'm saying. But every cornrow, connect the one prior. And this is what you should end up with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the install.